Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to try to integrate a matrix. Yes, I'm not joking, we're going to integrate a matrix and uh, we can do it. It's simple, don't worry. But let's first try to understand what an integral of a matrix means. Because this guy is a function, it's called a matrix function. It basically takes x as an input and its output ln squared of x here at this entry, cosine of x at this entry, x squared e to the x at this entry, and e to the x over 1 plus e to the 2x at this entry. And well, yes guys, it's perfectly fine to define this integral as we would do for a function that takes x as an input and outputs f of x. In this case, this matrix takes x as an input and it outputs all this stuff here. And how can we define this integral? Well, we can just solve it component-wise. So what I mean by component-wise is that the matrix, the resulting matrix of this integral is just the matrix which entries are the integrals of these entries. In other words, we have to first compute the integral of cosine of x, then x squared e to the x, then ln squared of x, and so on. This is what we are going to do. But then remember that when we compute in indefinite integrals, we have to add plus c at the end. And we're going to do it in a slightly different way, but we're going to do it. So let's start by integrating our first function, cosine of x. Okay, this is fairly simple. I mean, the integral of cosine of x is sine of x, because if we differentiate sine of x, we get the function cosine of x. Okay, and we have done it. Now, let's go to our second integral, the integral of x squared e to the x. And uh, yes, here we have a product of two functions here. And I'm going to use the di method because, guys, it is the best method for integration by parts. So what function are we going to differentiate and what function are we going to integrate? So I would say let's differentiate x squared and let's integrate e to the x. Because in this way the derivative of x squared is just 2x. The integral of e to the x is e to the x. And if we differentiate and integrate another time, we get the derivative of 2x is just 2. The derivative of x of e to the integrate, sorry, of e to the x is e to the x. But then we could do another thing. We could just differentiate and integrate another time. So let's pass a minus here, and we get derivative of 2 is 0, while the integral of e to the x is simply e to the x. All right. So we have a zero, so this times this is zero. So we're going to multiply these diagonals here. And our integral will be x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x plus 2 e to the x. And if we want to just write it in a more compact way, Let's just factor out our function e to the x. So this is going to be e to the x that multiplies x squared minus 2x plus 2. And we can close our bracket. And obviously, don't forget the plus c. All right, now let's get to our third function. So the natural log squared of x. And uh, yes, let's try to solve it. So yeah, for this function, the DI method is also going to work. So let's put here DI plus or minus to start off. And well, we're going to integrate one because remember there's a one here multiplying ln squared of x. And one is a function. And D instead, that stands for differentiation, we're going to differentiate ln squared of x. So the natural log of squared of x, its derivative is simply 2 times the natural log of x, then remember the chain rule, so just divide everything by x, while the integral of 1 is just x. Alright, so we can 
just multiply the 2 now and together this equals 2 x oh sorry x ln squared of x then we have minus 2 times the integral of we can simplify x and x so we get the natural log of x don't forget the dx and uh, now we have to integrate the natural log of x and we're also going to use the di method so as we've done with this integral there's a one in front of the air so just differentiate the natural log of x integrate one this is one over x this is x just multiply these two and these two so this equals two x and then squared of x minus 2 times x ln of x minus the integral of we can simplify x and x and we get the integral of 1 dx that is simply x and let's add our constant plus c we can rearrange this integral so we get x ln squared of x minus 2x and then of x plus 2x plus c all right now let's integrate our final function e to the x over 1 plus e to the 2x dx uh, for this function we're going to do a substitution so for example let t be equal to e to the x so dt equals to e to the x dx and dx equals to dt divided by e to the x so this equals to the integral of e to the x over 1 plus e to the 2x is simply t squared then we have 1 over e to the x times dt because this is our dt we can simplify e to the x and e to the x and we get this integral the integral of 1 over 1 plus t squared dt and this is the derivative of the arc tangent of t so this equals to the arc tangent of t uh, obviously plus our constant of integration c and now we know that t equals e to the x so we just need to substitute e to the x in this equation so we get the arc tangent of e to the x plus our constant of integration c all right guys so our indefinite integral equals to the first entry is sine of x the second entry is e to the x times x squared minus 2x plus 2. The third entry is x ln squared of x minus 2x times the natural log of x plus 2x. And let me move this a little bit to the right all right and then our last entry is the arc tangent of e to the x and now it comes the interesting part because we haven't finished yet because for every integral there is a constant of integration but can we add a constant to a matrix well, it depends on the constant. If it is a number like our constant here, we can't. But there is another interesting thing we could do. In fact, what if we add a particular constant? So we need to add plus C, but this is a matrix. This is a two by two matrix because our enter derivative is a 2 by 2 matrix. Don't say that this is 
a number because this is a matrix and we are done this is our anti-derivative plus our integration constant let me know what you think of these amazing uh, integrals and if you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as always until next time bye